Okay, this is our uh, Ephesians verse for week nine. <laughs> it's Ephesians 6, verses let's see, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we are going to, we just ended with righteousness. So with, and your feet, right here, feet, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So put your, put, pretend to put your shoes on. <laughs> so the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of of the gospel of peace, like a peace sign, okay? Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts, just make a bunch of fiery darts shooting out, of the wicked. So this one's really, really easy. Let's do it again. Uh, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Little horns. <laughs> so, all the way from the top. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, that thou mayest live long on the earth, and ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh with fear and trembling. Singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. With good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man do with, the same shall he receive of thee, Lord, whether he be bond or free, and ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand, therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. <laughs> Good luck!